Today is February 26, and the quote for today is entitled, Wisdom. Wisdom is different from knowledge. It comes from applying knowledge and from intuition, Paramatma. So in the Vedic process, you learn, then you reflect, then you apply, and then you realize, or you realize and then you apply. But the main thing is the reflection in how to apply. Now, one of the things that I've noticed a lot that happens in Krishna consciousness is that we know much more than we live. And that's not good. And we think we know because we have it in our head, even though we're not living it. And then we often don't realize that we're not living it. But we think we know it because it's in our head. Another thing that's very common is if you know something, sometimes you become proud that you know it, even though you don't act on it. And many, many times devotees who have had access to very special knowledge. Maybe they've learned from a devotee who's very learned in a certain area. Or they know Sanskrit or Bengali and they have a had access to books that common devotees haven't had access to. They begin to understand subtle aspects of Krishna consciousness or even general areas of Krishna consciousness that are not commonly understood by devotees in general. And because they understand it, they think that they're better. Because they know more, they think they're better. Even their activities are not better than those they think they know better than. And so it's an, interesting, it's an interesting thing to observe that now I know more and because I know more, I think I'm better. Although my actions have not changed, your actions are more Krishna conscious, but I think I'm better than you because I know more. So there's kind of a self-delusion in that we think that knowing is realizing and knowing is not realizing. And how do you know you've realized? You just look at your actions. We can say, do you understand this? And you can say, yes, I do understand it. And then I'll say, I don't think you understand it because I don't see you living it. I don't see you acting upon it. And until you live it or act upon it, I can't really say, you've understood it. So that's the Vedic process. It's the realization, the application. That means you've understood it. So this is, this is a challenge for many of us just to realize initially that we don't actually understand everything we understand, everything we think we understand. And so we have to look at our lives and then see, am I actually living what I've understood, because if I'm not living it, then I have to say, at least it's not wisdom, it's not what we call vigyan, realized knowledge, that I don't understand it. So it requires some, some objectivity about yourself. It requires the ability to, without ego, just look at my life and analyze it and say, do I really understand this? One of the prime examples is that so often we become upset by situations. Good, we become happy. Bad, we become distressed. We don't like our karma. Some karmic events happen and they upset us. And when they do upset us, we often blame the person who brought our karma. We often blame the situation. Or we just get, as we say in America, bent out of shape, which means we get upset. <clears throat> we, get <clears throat> we become disturbed by a situation. And it's so interesting in the Gita, Krishna is saying, you should be equal poised in happiness and distress, honor and dishonor, fame and infamy, heat and cold. And that theme, that topic, you'll find many, 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 many verses in Bhagavad Gita. And then, on top of that, or in addition, we understand the law of karma, that nothing is going to happen that it doesn't have a cause in something that I've thought or done at a past time. And so when that karmic reaction comes or that duality in nature comes, oftentimes we become very upset. And then we can ask ourselves, I'm becoming upset now, so what did I not understand 
about those verses in Bhagavad Gita. What did I not understand about karma? Because now I'm upset. And normally we'll think, no, I understand those verses in Gita. I understand perfectly what karma is. Actually, I write, I write articles on karma. I teach, I teach about karma. I, there's nothing about it that I don't understand. I understand it inside and outside. But now some karmic consequences come through the behavior of another individual that's upsetting me, that's causing me maybe to be resentful or very angry. So then I can ask, what is it about karma that you don't understand? Because by your behavior, you're demonstrating that you don't understand it. Or what is it about those verses of Gita where Krishna says we should be equal poised in, uh, when faced with the dualities of life? What about those verses don't you understand? You say, no, I understand those verses. I have them all memorized. That's fine, but look at your action. By your action, it appears you haven't understood those verses. So we need to look at our lives that way. It's very, very valuable for us to reflect. Do my actions actually reflect what I think I know? And if they do, it's wisdom. And if they don't, it just means you know. But knowing is not enough. You actually have to act on what you know. Hare Krishna.